Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. And this is going to be a bit of an up. This is going to be an update video for news. This is going to be uh, a bunch of information we're gonna we're gonna talk about, including um, several different tips and and things that I want to talk about for version six. So the first thing we're gonna talk. Well, the very first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get Mega Base Kyle, not because I'm gonna use him. Not because I'm going to use him. He looks pretty cool. And I'm going to get the Pulverizer. Not because I'm going to use it. Not because I'm going to use it, but because I was full of gold. Version 6.0 is giving us a massive amount of gold, guys. And honestly, at the rate that I'm playing right now, I'm getting over 8,000 gold a day, if not more. And it's going to go up more because of the cram sessions. Um, doing that quest that you do the the safes gives you a ton of gold. I'm gonna get, uh, goodness gracious, I'm gonna get several thousand gold just in the next in the next mission that I do when I complete that one. Um, so let's talk a little bit about version 6.0 because I mean, believe it or not, guys, version 6.0 has only been out for a day now. Wow. But um, there was something really interesting that came out on Reddit this morning, and that was this, uh, and this was posted by Epic Games. <clears throat> Again, there was no information uh, on Twitter or anything like that, but this is pretty cool. Hey everyone, changes to mission alerts. In version 6.0, we introduced the cram session mini event with the primary focus of leveling up your heroes, schematics, and survivors for the events to come. To support this, we doubled up the number of rewards given my mini boss mission alerts, but also restricted the type of items um, they can grant to strongly focus them on XP evolution materials and perk materials. Now, I'll say this right now. It feels like they doubled it, but it, it well, it, it shows they doubled it, but it doesn't feel like they really doubled it. Doing the missions, like for example, I do a lot of encampment missions. Uh, doing encampment missions, level 70 encampment missions is giving me 11,000 hero experience. That's not bad, especially for the amount of encampment missions that I do. But you see other missions that are giving like the three times time rewards. It kind of feels like there's a disparity there. And I will say this, though. I will say this, though. The amount of gold that you're getting all around on missions is fantastic. But it did feel a little negative that it was... The rewards, I think we were expecting massive rewards. Like, I was expecting, hopefully, that we were going to be able to get 20, 30, 40, 50,000 hero experience each encampment mission. Or each mission. And... It doesn't feel like they really did that. As well as the four times missions, those kind of stayed the same. If they had doubled the rewards in those ones, it would have felt like it would have felt a lot more. It would have felt like a lot more, you know. And yes, they did increase also the perks and the reperks. I mean, yesterday we did a mission that was a triple legendary. Whew. We did a triple legendary uh, perk. Uh, reperk mission and that was very nice but as I said when I did that mission I got I think it was a hundred and forty eight uh, legendary reperk and it felt like for the amount of time and supplies and effort that we did on that level 100 mission I kind of could have just done you know a challenge the horde mission in a level 76 that would have given me the same amount of legendary reperk plus some other reperk or something else and on top of it all i wouldn't have used any of my supplies any of my materials so that's why it kind of feels like especially coming off challenge the horde it just feels like this update is a little lackluster so but they did they did listen to us they did hear so um check out what they said uh we've heard the community feedback about the importance of the other types uh we disabled and have decided to add them back into the mix as a result the first reward granted by the mission Lord will now drop from the regular menu of possible rewards including hero schematic survivor experience nice Evolution materials, reperk and perk up, hero defender survivors, nice. Weapon trap schematics, mini llamas, transform keys, and V bucks. Something that a lot of people were upset about was the fact that all the V bucks missions just disappeared. And there are some people who primarily use Save the World to grind V bucks, or just they, that's what they try and do. They don't spend any money on the game, but they do grind every single V bug mission out there to be able to 
purchase things in the game or purchase them in the other game mode in Battle Royale. So that's pretty cool. They, re they brought it back in. Uh, the second bonus reward active during cram session will still be limited to additional XP, evolution materials, and perk materials. The gold reward will also remain active during the event. That's wonderful because as you guys, as I said, the amount of gold that we are getting in, in Save the World right now in the missions is outstanding. But we need more stuff to spend it on. I th I have a feeling that I am going to buy everything in both the event items and the weekly items by this weekend. So at that point, I'm gonna get I'm gonna be stuck. I don't know, doing the unlimited rare schematics. Uh, I think that's the only one. Yeah, or unlimited epic schematics. So I may just be stuck buying epic schematics until they either introduce more into the into the event or they go ahead and you know i don't know i'm kind of hoping that they either increase our cap for gold or they start adding in new things for us to just spend on every day maybe maybe every day that would be really cool but the next thing is i want to talk to you guys about the llama so i know people have been telling me why have you not opened your legendary troll sash llama yet or why have i not opened my other 20 llamas now this is the thing guys the reason why I haven't... Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. Um, so, the reason why I haven't opened my Legendary Troll Stash Llama is that right now, we do not have a... We don't have an Event Llama. And thank you very much, guys. I do see the raid that just happened. I really appreciate it. I'm just doing a video right now, so I'm going to focus on this for one second. Right now, we don't have an Event Llama, so we don't have tickets. We don't have any tickets. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? So... What I'm going to do is this legendary throw slash llama isn't going anywhere. It's not going anywhere as well as a couple of upgrade llamas that I have in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save these. I'm going to save this legendary throw slash llama. I'm going to save whatever llamas I have in here, hoping that some of those will give me some tickets, which will be a little bit of a bump up, a little bit of a, I guess, um, I don't know what to call it, uh, a head start whenever we do get a ticket whenever we do get an event llama which i'm sure we're gonna see in a couple of weeks maybe i mean maybe a few more weeks uh especially when we start seeing a halloween event which actually someone did say to me that there was a um someone said that there was a let's see someone said that fortnite did tweet out today a uh they did oh they did Oh yes, so they did tweet out something. They did tweet out something today. Uh, let's see if we can't pull it up here. Let me see if I can't pull it up. I can pull it up here, can't I? Yeah. So today they did tweet this out, which I'm kind of hoping that is not just for Battle Royale. I'm hoping that this is also going to be in regards to Save the World. So they tweeted this out saying, what lurks within the halls of this haunted place? Darkness rises. If that kind of sounds like it's a teaser towards Fort Nightmares Part 2. Maybe Vlad is coming back. Maybe he never really went away. <laughs> Whew, okay, so <laughs> so hopefully we're going to see this very soon. Um, I don't know. I don't know when this is going to happen. I don't know if this is going to be happening in a couple of weeks. If it's going to happen, it's not going to happen till October. Hopefully it starts in October, which means that the cram session would only last about one more, about one more, one more week hopefully but anyway um that's all i wanted to talk about with some news and stuff what i'm gonna do now guys is after this i'm gonna add something else that i've been working on which is kind of like a little bit of a mini uh, hint or, or helps for the cram session so what i'm gonna do is you guys are gonna see a series of videos and pictures and me kind of screenshots me explaining where to find like where are good places to find uh treasure chests where to find those safe uh the safes and just in general, you know, like uh, some tips and tricks that I've accumulated for the cram session. So thanks for watching this far, guys, and enjoy. Hey, guys. All right. So uh, we're continuing our hunt for chests, safes, all that good stuff. So I'm sure you guys have seen this area on the map in, uh, in Canny Valley before. Um, actually, in all the desert maps. So you've got this big lake here. And in the middle of the lake, there's this little, like, uh, a little hut here. Sometimes in these ones, there's going to be an area. You Maybe there is. <laughs> Three chests and a safe. So let's go ahead and get this one. 
Um, but like I said before, for me personally, yes, you can find safes. You can find safes all over the place. Uh, you can find safes in um, in in uh, the um, what was it the the city zones? You know, uh, all over the place, especially like the, the little um, what what I call those the um, uh, the the offices that I said, you know, so you can find them there. Um, but one of the best places to find, honestly, is going to be in Canny Valley in the mine shafts. So the mine shafts are just, they're great places. Great, great places. So we're going to continue and I think we're almost done. All right, guys, here's another chest. Uh, so I'm currently in Canny Valley, and in these mines, there's usually chests and safes in these mines. But if you jump into this uh, into this mine over here, I, I put up this, <laughs> this wooden wall because I broke down the other one. Uh, but if you break down this wall over here, uh, sometimes you're going to see a chest over here <coughs> or back there. But there we go. So if you're looking for a chest, that's where you can get one. Let's jump down here. I'm going to go down and see if there's going to be another chest. Because sometimes we can find chests over here as well. As well as we can find... Like down here sometimes there's a chest. Yep, right there. See? So there's another chest right there. That's another chest right there. Uh, the Some of the best... Actually, the desert maps, like Canny Valley, I gotta say, are really really amazing for finding chests because not only uh, let me see let's let's see how bad this map is okay so probably a lot of the chests have already been discovered here but in Canny Valley you can find several chests in several different locations uh, for example oh another one up is there one up? Oh. for a second I thought there was another one up here because so there's also a, a hidden wall here and sometimes there's a chest in there too so Definitely, definitely look, check out the mines in Canny Valley or in any of the desert maps. The desert maps are going to be probably some of the best places to find any of those, um, what's it called? Any of those chests. Also, let me see if I can find really quick here. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to find, okay, like here. Someone already took this one. So, in these little buildings, so these little square one by ones that are all, they're littered all over the map in Canny Valley. Um, you're going to have a really good chance of finding chests on top of them. Just like up here too. Um, but yeah, Candy Valley is one of the best, best places to find chests. And you're going to be able to complete pretty quickly the, um, the cram session. I'm just checking really quick here to see if there's anywhere else. Um, I guess we can go over there. Oh, that's another place too. Um, up here. So if you go into the, to the top of the of the spires, I guess, or what do what do you want to call these? Of the little mountains. There's one here. Where's the other one? Over there, I guess. There's another one. But that one might have been already been taken. Uh, these sometimes will have chests on top here. And then, like I said, oh, there's another chest right there. Look, check that out. So there we go. Cool. So free chest. There we go, another chest. Am I done with the chest now? I think I'm done with, uh, yeah, I think I'm done with these. Am I done with these chests already? Wow. Let's check to see. Objectives, quests, cram session. Yeah. So we found, we already got all the chests for these ones. So but seriously, the, the, um, the desert maps, I think, are some of the best places to find chests. But in these desert maps, sometimes... At the bottom of the uh, of the um, uh, of the mine shafts, you'll find sometimes you'll find a a um, a what's it called um, 
a safe in there. But the other best place to find safes is going to be in offices. So whenever you see, I'll show you. There might not be one here, but this is this is somewhere where I always find them. Uh, so up here in this office here. So if you go into this office over here, um, is this the office or it might be the other one actually? I think it might be the other one. Nope. Though this is a well, this is a, a chest in here. There's chests everywhere. Uh, we need to go find an office. Where's an office? Uh, this is not an office, no. Does this place have an office? This might have an office. Uh, no. No, no office here. When you see the, the... When you see the desks, there are certain areas that have a little desk, and those are offices. And whenever you see an office, oh, it's over there. So someone already took it, I think. So over here, this this used to be an office, I think, up here. Um, and right there, you could find yourself a safe. But I'm going to keep looking. Uh, maybe in a future mission, when I find another safe, I'll show you guys. But the chests aren't that difficult to find to complete this. But definitely the safes. I think the safes are some of the hardest things to find. But the next time that I do another mission um, and I find a safe, I'll show you guys as well as show you where to find them best in these. Uh, if not, like I said, in, in the in the desert maps, the best place to find safes are going to be in the mine shafts at the very bottom. But in other missions, there's also always other places. The safes are going to be the hardest to find. Look for them in offices. And the offices are going to be... Uh, like the Dirt Burger. The Dirt Burger has an office uh, below ground, so you can find it there. But I'll keep looking, and when I find more, I will show, show you guys. Oh. Yeah, die here. See you in a second. Okay, so right now we are in another encampment mission in Candy, but this one's not in the desert. But remember what I told you guys about the uh, offices. So... Um, if you're looking for safes, one of the best places to find safes is going to be in offices. So all you have to do is find offices like this. And this is what an office looks like. When an office has one of these little desks, even if it doesn't have the computer on it. So it can look like this. They can look like these, you know. Um, usually, you they, look, they have one of the little file cabinets. When you find areas like this in any map there's chances that you're gonna find a safe so uh so yeah so in this case here we're in an office uh, i don't know what kind of an office this is here but it is in candy valley and right there we have a safe so that's how you find that's how i personally whenever i look for safes i always look for the offices i always look for the offices because most times you find one in the offices so we're gonna keep going guys and yeah all right, guys, so I hope that that helped out. I hope that helped you guys out to see kind of where I've been finding my chest and my um, safes. Just to give you guys a little bit of like a, a spoiler, I guess. Um, I went ahead and today, I, you know, we played all day today. I did mostly in camping missions today, actually, because I've been trying to progress through the cram session. But as you guys can see, I'm almost done with the safe cracking kind of doing what i showed you guys in in the videos uh that we just showed and i'm completely done with the treasure chest so um that's pretty much the best way that i can tell you guys to do it i i we did we did in cabin missions all over the place it was just a lot easier to get them done in the desert uh so if if you're in candy valley and you know what i think a lot of people are going to be in candy valley uh, the Canny Valley mine shafts were for me personally the best place to get these. Uh, just found a mine shaft, go down, and almost in every single mine shaft there would be at least one chest. In some there were two, three, four, five, um, and sometimes there were also the safes in there. There were some safes, you know, scattered in other places too. But I gotta say that was Canny Valley was like the best for me, and I kind of do feel like there has been. There's been an increase in the amount of safes found in the game, probably to help us out in this mini event cram session thing. So, hope to help, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoy what I do on my channel. If you do, please do me a huge favor. 
Have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.